Hi, fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We're back with another reaction. It's Halloween time. What is it, Dan? The Exorcist. The OG. The OG. OG. This one is the remastered version, so enjoy it. Cheers to you, fam. Enjoy. Cheers to you, Joe. All these guys out here looking for the Ark of the Covenant for the Nazis. <laughs> That's kind of what it looks like. More than I They're finding something that I guess doesn't belong, but it's buried anyway, huh? Probably medieval or something. That's kind of creepy looking. Yeah, maybe some things are best, best left buried. Yeah. Oh. He's just in poor health as he gets older, I guess, huh? Yeah. I say this is tough work for somebody with a bad condition. They built them differently back then, man. I say you, you can't stop some of these old timers. No. Shaitan, you hard of Shaitan. Hmm. It just stopped. Hmm. <laughs> Was this something you must do? This is such an interesting way to start this movie off. Here in Iraq, because then you never see it again. Yeah. And it's like a complete difference in culture. The Middle East is the, the cradle of civilization here, so makes, it kind of makes sense that this is where you would go. I never thought about that. That's actually a really good way to put that. Mm-hmm. You mean to tell me that statue was just there? Apparently so. This is kind of creepy, though. Kind of makes you wonder what the people who erected that thing were thinking. It's like you thought people were crazy today. Oh, yeah, they were crazy back then, too. Yeah, they were erecting these statues trying to summon evil. Right. What is that? It's like a giant rat scurrying on the ceiling. It was just fine earlier, now it's freezing in that room. Oh, Carl, we've got rats in the attic. You better get some traps. I think it's clean. All right, then we've got clean rats. <laughs> C-39, hotel, take four. All right, hustle background and action. But the kids who want to get an education have a right to... Yeah. Yeah, get educated. these passers by like whatever everybody's just trying to go to class i bet everybody failed that year because this movie is being <laughs> shot there okay. i think i'll walk home tonight mike okay. you take that drop from my house yeah. and there it is i think you could walk home as an actress paparazzi be all over you i think that's why she walked around the back <laughs> mm -hmm. now that's actually fall look yes appropriate for this time of year i love it they go the trick-or-treaters and it actually is halloween look at that oh mom can't we get a horse well not while we're in washington yeah, let's do the middle of the city. Yeah. <laughs> what are you going to do? Just chain him up in the front yard? <laughs> mama. How good of him to go visit his mom. Mm -hmm. Always got to stay close to your mom. You promote being good sons on this channel. Yes. Mama, I could take you somewhere where you'd be safe. You wouldn't be alone. This is my house, and I'm not going no place. I can understand that. She's a sound mind. It's not like she's a real danger to herself. Yeah, I think he just worries about her. She's getting old, you know? Because he can't be there all the time. So. Right. Hey, where'd this come from? You been playing with it? Yep. You know how? Nah, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> let's just play some table tennis. Well, let's both play. Oh! Hello. You really don't want me to play, huh? Captain Howdy said no. Who's Captain Howdy? I make the questions and he does the answers. That doesn't explain anything. It's like, no, <laughs> in my house, Mom does the answers. <laughs> mm, what are we going to do on your birthday? I don't know. Hey, you know, we never finish seeing all the sights in Washington. Should we do that? Go sightseeing? Hmm? Let's go to the Smithsonian. That'd be the thing I'd do. It's neat. Have you been there? I have. Oh, okay. It's my mother, Tom. She's alone. I never should have left her. I need reassignment, Tom. I want out of this job. I got the best we've got. The best you got doesn't want to do the job. That's not good. I think I've lost my faith, Tom. That's when not good. Yeah, when somebody's telling you this, you should probably listen to them. Mm -hmm. They at the very least need a long sabbatical. What are you doing here? My bed was shaking. I can't get to sleep. 
Yeah, those rats aren't doing any better. And your bed shaking. Yes, that's also interesting. Love the lighting in this shot. I know. It's eerie. Mm -hmm. Well, they haven't taken the bait. No music, no sound, nothing. Just pure darkness. It's been a very quiet movie so far. Whoa! Oh. Nice. No rats. No rats. Thanks a lot. So it's just you scurrying around up there? So what's making the noise? <laughs> yeah. He's probably wondering the same thing too. That's why he's up there. I'm sure he was checking the traps. Oh. Holy Jesus. That's pretty hardcore. Yeah, it is. Really messed up too. Hmm. Mm. Tell me if you feel a vibration. Can you feel this? I don't feel anything. Felt like an unnecessary way to respond. Right. Tad aggressive. This tells you temperature. I don't want it. Oh, uh, you have to do it. Well, that thing was going to keep going up, I think. <laughs> she's acting like she's on drugs. Have you ever known your daughter to swear? She let loose quite a string while I was examining her. Really? Interesting. What did she say? She advised me to keep my fingers away from her. Goddamn. I can't believe it. It is pretty vulgar. She don't let my doctor come near her. She was all the time screaming, even talking to the radio. You should have called me the minute it happened. <sighs> Jesus. Yeah, these people are disturbed. It's Demi, Mama. Why you did the bitch to me, Demi? Come on, I'm gonna take you out of here, Mama. Why is she strapped down like that? I don't know. Can't you put us someplace else? Like what? Private hospital? Who got the money for that, Demi? You? <laughs> the church can't sit yet with something? Yeah, seriously, aren't they swimming in dough? They should be. The Catholic Church? Who's the priest I keep seeing there? Damien Karras. He's our, our psychiatric counselor. He had a pretty rough knock last night, poor guy. His, his mother passed away. Oh. Oh. Bloody damn butchering Nazi pig. Oh. All right, Denny, come on. He brought it on himself. Just let him fight it out. Listen, Burke, your car's at the curb. Louie's <laughs> waiting. Fine. Now go home and don't call anybody else a Nazi. At least not until I see you again tomorrow. <laughs> You're gonna die up there. Whoa. Oh. Again? Oh my god, honey. Well, that's one way to end a party. Not the ideal way to end a party, but no. Is it coming out, will it? Yes, I think so. Oh, that bed's shaking. You can hear it. Oh, well. Yeah, I think we can believe her now, huh? Yeah, that's not natural. No. What a dark dream you're having. Oh. I don't want it! Well, that's a way to transition from a nightmare. Sure. You bastard! Oh. Chill out! Jesus! Type of disturbance in the chemical electrical activity of the brain. Sounds like bullshit from a doctor. Look, I got on the bed. The whole bed was thumping and rising off the floor and shaking with me on it. Mrs. McNeil, the problem with your daughter is not her bed. Did you not hear anything she said? Okay, so what's causing the bed to shake? Yeah. <laughs> now, Reagan, you're gonna feel something a little bit cold and wet. Alright, that's enough needles for one movie. I'm telling you, God dang. Don't move. Okay, you're gonna feel some pressure here. Now, don't move. Oh, no. <laughs> Just her being uncomfortable is making me uncomfortable. Yeah. Oh, my God. Jeez. Y'all better come up with answers for all this craziness. No kidding. This sounds terrible. Gee, I wonder why she's going crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just nothing there. No vascular displacement at all. I'd like you to see her again. What the hell? <laughs> I don't want to go through that again. Chris McNeil is on the phone. She says it's urgent. Mother, please! Oh, please, Mother! Oh, oh. Oh, that's some violent shit. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. God, what's in her throat? I don't know. Oh. Oh the sour is mine. Hey. Me. <laughs> Jesus. 
What? Yeah, she's not in control of herself at all. Mm -mm. Okay, doctors, now that you've seen it, explain it. Now we're just doing this crap again to her? Yep. Dr. Tanny says the x-rays are negative. Okay. You guys are all useless, man. <laughs> so you still haven't told us what it is? Yeah. I think it's time we started looking for a psychiatrist. Like she wanted in the first yes. place. No, they wanted to do their thing a little longer. They want to make sure they get their insurance money. Exactly. Some serious issues in this house. Oh. Oh. This whole house needs to be cleansed. Not just her, the whole damn house. I think you're right. Because it is everywhere. Oh my god, it was did you see that too? Yeah. Good lord. And she just like <laughs> laying there. Because it's still too hot for the demon. Burke's dead. He fell down from the top of the steps right outside. Broke his neck. Jesus. She pushed him out that damn window. She might have. No! Oh. Oh. What the hell? Good, good God. Freaking goosebumps <laughs> on me, man. Yeah, that is not natural. No. Is there someone inside you? Sometimes. If he talks to me, I think he'll leave you. I doubt that very much. Yeah. I think all you're going to do is piss it off. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking to the person inside of Reagan now. Come forward. Mm. <coughs> yeah, look at the doctor backing <laughs> off. <laughs> I'll be outside. Yeah. Who are you? Whoa! Oh, good God. Oh, my God. Got a, got both of them with that grip. Jesus. Ugh. She's got real problems, man. <laughs> That's not a brain thing. William F. Kinderman, homicide. Burke Dennings is found at the bottom of those steps with his head turned completely around. Oh. That's not a broken neck. Somebody did that. Yeah. Somebody literally... Right. The thought of that alone. That he was in that room. Mm-hmm. Oh. The little girl did that? Yeah. You're the psychiatrist. You know who was sick at the time. I don't know anyone who fits that description. The psychiatrist was put in jail for not telling the police what he knew about a patient. I could always tell the judge it was a matter of confession. Mm. Mm. Touche, dickhead. <laughs> Nobody ever seen anymore except in primitive culture. Some... She's looking terrible. It's getting way worse. Have you ever heard of exorcism? Stylized ritual in which the rabbi or the priest try to drive out the so-called invading spirit. It's been uh, pretty much discarded these days except by the, the Catholics. This is the best these guys can come up with now. That's how you know they don't have any more bullshit. <laughs> even, <laughs> even now they're still discrediting it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, maybe you should leave that where it's at. I think so. How'd that get there? I don't know. What was that? That wasn't that little trinket. That's what it looked like. This was under Reagan's pillow. Did you put it there? Of course I didn't. I didn't put it. There's only four people in this house. One of you MFers did it. <laughs> right. I meant to see you. My opinion that the deceased was killed and then pushed from your daughter's window. Mm, every time I think about it, I can actually picture it happening. As strong as she is, she could do it. Well, as strong as the demon is, and right. the little girl couldn't do shit. <laughs> Your daughter, she's the artist? You think she made the little clay statue? She may have. That makes sense. I didn't think about that until just now. Yeah, I haven't well, either. I'll come back when she's feeling better. Bye. You leave on a positive note so you can interview him again later. Sure. Oh, that doesn't sound good. No, that's not her voice anymore. Holy shit! Oh! Ugh. Good God! Jesus. The demon is completely sinister. Uh. No! Do you know what she did, Yuck. daughter? To hell with all that. That's like all the way possessed when you're moving heavy furniture and turning your head around yeah it's I'm about to say i'm not worried about the furniture i'm worried about the yeah please go away i'm father Karras. how'd you get out of that room i'm very sorry hello good question i don't know how do you go about getting an exorcism i've never met one priest who has performed an exorcism well that's your science at work it just so happens that somebody very close to me is probably possessed father Karras is my little girl 
and that's all the more reason to forget about exorcism. Why? It could make things worse. I don't know how. <laughs> yeah, how? Yeah. Could you see her? She's literally exhausted all her options, dude. Yeah, help the poor woman. Yeah. Hello, oh, my God. God. Jesus. That's not her anymore. I'm Damien Carroll's. And I'm the devil. Now kindly undo these straps. If you're the devil, why not make the straps disappear? That's much too vulgar display of power, Carrie. Yeah, whatever. What do you care? Your mother's in here with his cash. Would you like to leave a message? That's all pretty stout evidence. Then you must know my mother's maiden name. What is it? <laughs> that was like really hard green. <laughs> yeah, it was. That was like necro ghoul. I mean, if I was saying, I'd probably be vomiting after that. Look, I'm only against the possibility of doing your daughter more harm than good. Nothing you can do could make it any worse. Agreed. Yes. Your daughter doesn't say she's a demon. She says she's the devil himself. Now, if you've seen as many psychotics as I have, you'd realize that's the same thing as saying you're Napoleon Bonaparte. That's fair, but did you see her up there? How many psychotics physically look like that? Did you know my mother died recently? Yes, I did. Is Reagan aware of it? Not at all. Why'd you ask? It's not important. Good night. Yes, it is. You know what? He's questioning his faith, all this stuff. I can see why he's incredibly skeptical. Maybe he's trying not to worry the mother. I can see that. That's fine. An excellent day for an exorcism. But wouldn't that drive you out of Reagan? It would bring us together. Did you do that? Uh... <laughs> God. Impressed? What's that? Holy water. <gasps> it burns! <sighs> what a gross demon. Uh -huh. Jeez. Sounds like the mother now. Yeah. Who are you? <laughs> so creepy. Those are not the sounds of a normal human. Seriously, doesn't even, doesn't even sound close like somebody's trying to change their voice. Want a drink? Please. Uh, scotch. I'll take it straight. Take one too while you're at it. I'd be taking it straight too, and I'm not even a scotch drinker. <laughs> After what I've seen, yeah. Yeah. She killed Bert, Daddy. She pushed him out her window. Yeah, we're pretty sure about that. <laughs> Little Japanese sign up there? Yeah. You know what it means, though, right? No. Help me. The Japanese sign? Yeah. That's English in reverse. Listen. Yeah, nobody speaks in reverse. That should be all the evidence you need. <laughs> Marin, he's a priest. Oh. I keep hearing Marin there. Mm-hmm. I'll be damned if it says help me. Is Reagan still in there? To think that's what your Japanese sign said yeah. in the language lab. There's all kinds of little references in the background, isn't there? Yeah. Have you any ideas? How about Lancaster Marin? I had a notion he was over in Iraq. It's at Woodstock now. Woodstock? What's he, <laughs> <laughs> he went on a serious vacation. <laughs> yeah, he went there to see... Uh, Jimi country, Hendrix. Yeah, country Joe McDonald. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's had experience 10, 12 years ago, I think, in Africa. The exorcism supposedly lasted months. I heard it damn near killed him. Jeez. Mm. How did it not kill the patient? Maybe it did. It probably just kept going from one to another. Mm. Oh, look at that. The fog and the light shining through the window. That's perfect. Yeah, it is. It's the perfect shot. She's waiting for you. Is Father Karras here? Yes. He Father? Is here already. It's an honor to meet you, Father. No! <laughs> Pay no mind to that. <laughs> Would you like some brandy in that, Father? Well, the doctors say I shouldn't. Who cares about doctors? <laughs> They've God. done nothing good for anybody in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> they really have. Yeah. have they? <laughs> the demon is a liar. He will like to confuse us. Will also... Mix lies with the truth. The attack is psychological, Damien, and powerful. So the demon knows psychology, too. If it can mix lies with the truth? So far, I'd say there seem to be three. She's convinced that There's she's... There's only one. Mm. So much for your psychology, <laughs> psychiatry degree. <laughs> the one that is many, yes. Oh, she's ready. Or the demon's ready. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the demon's ready. Yeah. Uh, oh, Father. Oh, in heaven. Oh, good God. Look at the color of that, Loogie. What did they use for that? I don't know. This is such a gross movie. Yeah, it is. Let the enemy have no power over her. And the sound of iniquity be powerless to harm her. Your mother sucks in hell, Lord. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this is an insult. Holy Lord, almighty Father, oh, no. everlasting God, listen to our call for help. I don't want to be in this room. Not with all this going on. No. Not if you can turn this bed into a shot put. Amen. Lord, oh. hear my prayer. 
Doesn't even sound like it's that effective. No. Do let my cry come unto thee. Games of your holy apostles underfoot serpents and scorpions. Good lord, that's scary. Oh. See the yeah. cross of the Lord. Good yeah. God. That damn thing is so gross. Yeah. Here you go. Yeah. Gross. Oh God, I don't want to touch that. No. Gross. <laughs> Uh, this attack is way more than just psychological. Yeah, she's flat out threatening them. Yeah. I cast you out, unclean spirit! Show it up your ass! The name of Damn! Jeez. It is he who commands you! You're gonna bring this room down around him. For real. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, by this sign of the Holy Cross, oh, who no. lives and reigns. Oh, Amen. Defender. The demon is like really making itself known. Yeah, it is. A servant. You left her alone. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Jesus. By the judge of the. Uh -oh. The straps are giving out. Yeah. It's the power. The power of Christ compels you. Oh. Uh, did the water do that? I don't know. I hope not. The power of Christ compels you. It's like she didn't even feel that water anymore. No. God the Father commands you. Ooh, oh, yeah. The blood of the martyrs commands you. Good God. This whole house is going to fall apart. That creature had... It had an appendage. Mm. Let's rest before we start again. Look at him. He looks broken. Man, seen some stuff. That's that demonic PTSD. Well, that and it challenges everything he's learned about psychiatry. Sure. Well, when they say somebody's out there doing God's work, that's exactly what he's doing, isn't it? Yeah, he is. So I don't think it gets any holier than this. No. Oh, my. Don't fall for his traps. Maybe you shouldn't be in there alone. Probably good advice, actually. Dimi, why you do this to me? You're not my mother. He's still trying to be a scientist. It's the only way you can stop from listening to that. You're not my mother! Jamie. He warned you about this. He did, and you're still grieving for your mom, too. Mm hmm Oh, Father. What in heaven? Hallowed be thy name. Oh. But you can tell he is here for her. Mm hmm That's one of my favorite parts in that whole movie is when he just reaches out to hold her hand while he does this. He's acting a lot more priestly than a lot of the other priests we've seen so far. Yeah. Is she gonna die? No. Not if he's got anything to say about it. Oh no. And she's loose, like way loose. Oh yeah. She's watched him die. I'm about to say, she probably didn't do anything. She just sat there and watched it happen. She might have. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> okay. What the heck? No, well don't hit her! I know you're mad, but you can't punch a little girl. Oh, he did. <laughs> oh my god. That's fully in him now. Fight it off. Did that happen twice? Jeez. She's not even fully convinced that that's her daughter. I don't blame her. I mean, why would you be? Okay, I'm with him. Like, what the hell just happened here? I don't know, but do you realize this this demon took the life of two priests? Yeah. In one day. Are you sorry for having offended God and all the sins of your past life? I go to himself and help him was become his That's a self sacrifice. Hmm. It's gonna be gut wrenching too for his friend having to sit here and watch him die. Yeah, forget cleansing the house. We're out. Yeah, I wouldn't say there either. Yeah. I found this in your room. I wonder if that's the same little piece also that was found at the dig site, too. It looks like it. It was around Karis's neck, right? So that clearly says that they performed that exorcism in Iraq, too. But considering the demon statue out there, that could be the case. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye. I'll call you. I think they have a newfound religion in their family. Well, I think somehow she understands the church helped her out. Sure. Even if she doesn't remember what happened. I thought you'd like to keep this. I think y'all should keep it. Well, he did belong to his friend. Why don't you keep it? 
It was protecting him up until the point he it wasn't wearing it. That's a fair point. You go to films? What's playing? Wuthering Heights. <laughs> I've seen it. Well, good. <laughs> Had your lunch? No. This guy just wants some companionship, I think. <laughs> some temporary companionship to help pass the hours yeah. in his lonely life. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad we could have a lighthearted ending after that craziness. Yes. Woo! Uh, that was some serious crazy. Oh, yeah. The Exorcist. One of the greatest horror films ever made. Mm -hmm. One of the only movies to send people out of theaters fainting <laughs> and vomiting. And I can't say that I blame them. This movie was very, very vulgar. Yeah. I remember watching all the documentaries of people that were going to watch this. They were lining up in droves mm -hmm. to go watch this movie. And there were people that just couldn't handle it. And then there were other people that were loving every second of it. Yeah. It's incredible. You're either you're, you're either here for it all or you're just one of those people that can't take it. It's incredible. Yeah, because I remember my dad telling me, because I have I actually have an Italian godfather who's Catholic. Yeah. He told me that he would not go see this movie. The godfather or your dad? No, the, the godfather. Oh, wow. He would not go see this movie because he was just so scared of it. Has he ever seen it? I don't know that he has. And the funny thing is, too, is he seems like a tough guy. You know, he's a drinker and a smoker and he does, like, all this stuff that you would think a normal guy could handle but he won't he won't watch this movie i mean there's a lot of people that even to the, to this day won't watch it yeah it's not it's, i can't say i blame them especially if you believe in this kind of thing which is actually one of the things that makes this movie so interesting is compared to like all the other movie monsters out there you know, like vampires and werewolves a lot of that stuff is like old folklore there are actual like documented stories of this kind of stuff happening and so there's a, a certain realism element to it that just kind of freaks people out in that case i can't say i bl fully blame anybody for not wanting to see it especially if they're superstitious like that or if their belief system is that strong it might be considered like inviting something like that into your own life maybe fam i watch this every halloween <laughs> all right because i'm like uh what is it beetlejuice said it gets funnier every time you see it <laughs> well i don't know about that i still feel horrible for the girl to me it just never gets old yeah i think that's what it is i never don't get goosebumps when i see some of the things that happen Considering the age of this film, the effects are really, really good. Oh, God. Like, when you see her twisting her head around on her body, like, we've seen other movies with similar effects, but you can tell it's obviously a fake head. It doesn't look fake in this. No, because you've been seeing her go through torment. Right. And, like, the projectile vomit, like, yeah, it looks fake, but at the same time, it's so thick that you just, like, feel the weight of it on you. Yeah. I wonder if they just accidentally got that part right, or if they're, like... Well, I need this to shoot hard, you know? Well, sometimes it's like that. Sometimes something just accidentally works out better than it was intended to be. Maybe. You made an interesting discovery, too, while watching this movie. We're sitting there watching the guy trying to decipher a language in the in the language lab. Yeah. And you noticed a uh, Japanese word. What did it say? It said, yeah. above the room that they were in, there was a sign in red letters that said, Taskete. Taskete yeah. in Japanese means help me. It's incredible. Yeah. It's incredible. And then, not five minutes later, he's back in her room looking at her body and said help me, help me. Yeah. yeah Ooh, imagine if it did it in japanese Tasukate. nobody would get the reference no you're right they would in japan but yeah it's probably just one of those you know, neat little things in there for people that know this stuff like hey we're kind of referencing what's happening in the movie here foreshadowing yeah. yeah okay that's the first time i've seen I've, I've noticed that so thank you for pointing that out yeah but it's also the first time i've made a lot of i've questioned a lot of things that were going on in this too mm -hmm. the little saint necklace there at the end yeah we saw it we saw that little uh symbol at the beginning mm -hmm. when they're in their dig in iraq where they should be finding things that are thousands of years old but that little necklace clearly is not that they're finding so well as you watch the movie you can later on put the pieces together and say okay that's evidence that somebody has performed an exorcist on this demon, mm -hmm. you know, some time ago. And they buried it so, so it would be forgotten. And that would make sense because you have the little demon statue there combined with the necklace. It does kind of imply that, hey, there's been other exorcisms going on out here too. You could also make the argument that it's just a random thing that happened because you had like the crusades and stuff going on in the Middle Ages in this particular part of the world. Yeah. It wouldn't be all that unusual to necessarily find catholic gear laying around that's fair yeah because they were finding lots of artifacts from the crusade. But i think you're right i think it is a clear reference that okay there there were exorcisms in fact going on in the past in this region i mean if they if this movie wasn't about an, an exorcism here mm -hmm. i wouldn't have questioned that at all i would have been like okay so they're just finding some cool things right you know but now i am but then there's also the little uh, clay trinket that the detective finds at the bottom of the stairs before he goes to visit uh the mcneil's house there right 
and it's very similar to the statue or to the uh, or to the little trinket that he found with that necklace in Iraq. Mm -hmm. And it's like, okay, so we know Reagan's a little bit of an, you know, she likes to craft and draw and stuff like that. She probably crafted that. Could be. I mean, I can see the devil making statues in his own image or something, so sure. And of course, drawing the lion with wings. I just thought that was something a little girl would draw, but it, seem, it seems like a cute little thing a kid would draw, but it's like, that's actually kind of imaginative for a child. Now you're drawing it based on, but 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 you know that the lion creature that was on that statue had wings. Right, so. and that's what I'm thinking. Like, like another animal with wings. Okay, I can see a lion seems like a little bit of an odd choice for a little girl. Yes, maybe a giraffe would be or something. Or a horse or, or you know any number of things. But a lion. A lion is a bit ferocious to put wings on. Right, especially since what she wanted more than anything was a horse. Yeah. So yeah, you would have thought she would have drawn a unicorn or something. That would make a lot more sense. Interesting little evidence, pe uh, evidential pieces that we're kind of, no I'm just kind of noticing here, just watching this with you, fam. It's mm -hmm. kind of cool, you yeah. know? Yeah, I like I like that now. So. Yeah, you really under appreciate how smart this movie is. Another thing I really like, too, is just kind of the lack of music, which we, get, we kind of pointed out, too, in the movie. Yeah. Because all the way up to, like, halfway through this film, there's almost no music. No, it's incredibly si it's silent, except to the environment around you. And, and it's actually kind of foreboding, because you're watching people just go through their normal lives, but something just feels slightly off, and you don't know what it is, but you just have that gut feeling that it's like the calm before the storm. What was the movie we watched? Uh, Barbarian. Mm -hmm. Remember when they're down into in the tunnels there? Yeah, they're not playing much music then either. Right, it's just... almost none, and it's a, and it's that same feeling, mm -hmm. you know. I wish more horror movies did that, but they love to just constantly hit you with that music. Yeah, leading all the way up to a scare jump or something. And and to kind of elaborate on it too, the sound design in the film was really good too. Oh god, the, like the noises that she was making were just so clearly inhuman. They were horrifying. Like it's, it's not just that she's you no know, using profanity right and left; it's that she's doing it in like five different voices yeah and backwards english and in latin and whatnot and then of course you have like the scurrying sounds in the walls you have like all the this, breathing the heavy the heavy side you know labored breathing all this environmental noise is just unnerving you right and the images just of the of the demon popping up everywhere so right absolutely now they did a wonderful job in this movie it's a masterpiece no matter how gross or terrifying it is to people it's a pure masterpiece way ahead of its time the funny thing, too, I was thinking about is Max von Sydow just died a few years ago. He already looks tremendously old in this film, so good on the makeup team. Incredible, isn't it? Because this is before Dune. Yeah. This is before Dune 1984, and he looked much younger in Dune. Yeah. So, yeah, they, they made that dude look old. The guy looks like he's got to be, like, almost 90 in this film, but no, he, was still, he wasn't even close. He's still a fairly young man. Yeah. He, still, he, he was still very spry back then, but my God, he, they did great work here, didn't they? So, just all around great acting. Like, even Father Karras, just the way that he's such a skeptic, you know, because he's got the psychology and everything, and then just seeing how his character transforms looking at Reagan. He had a great character arc in this. He did. He really did. From a person who is working with the church as a psychiatrist and a priest, mm -hmm. who's losing his faith, he's got, a, he's, his mom is a failing health and she dies and that weighs on him heavily. And then by the time somebody asks him for help, he's probably close to, like, not believing in any of it yeah because of all the things not only that happened to him but him just like not seeing any evidence that there's a god out there i guess that by the time he sees what's happened to this little girl it's like an in your face way of saying oh no the devil exists and that should be evidence that god exists like how do you deny that yeah it's not that the devil has a vulgar display of power but the way the exorcism was was incredibly vulgar yes that couldn't be a more like in your face look at it and that's the thing about this movie is, you know, some of the things that you see and that you hear in this movie is stuff that you've seen and heard in other movies. But the way that it's portrayed here, like it's just so in your face, it's got like no other context to it. It's just pure evil. Certainly. And it works out so well. It's offensive and it's meant to be offensive. Yes, for all the, for all the right reasons. Yeah. Yeah, all the, all the uh, foul, like vulgar language used and everything, that was all purposeful. And it was like, it was not meant to hurt your feelings it was meant to portray that this thing is pure evil and right. it doesn't care right i like that Marin came in and told us what he thought the intentions were here mm -hmm. like why this child right here mm -hmm. and he says there's no reason for the child it's because he can do this to anybody he wants i thought the demon had a good point too because she said you know she's looking forward to an exorcism because it brings the priest closer to her yeah and in a way we kind of saw that with Karis too because what happens is after Marin dies he gives up any pretense of going through the procedure he just starts beating her up and trying to force the demon to do what he wants right 
in, in a way, he, he commits a very ungodly act, but it, it ends up working out. That's a good point. And it did bring them closer together. Probably not the way the demon wanted. Right. In the end there. Probably all the demon wanted was just to go from one vessel to another and just like slowly make people fall into despair, I guess. So. I imagine so, yeah. Yeah. Smart movie. Like yeah, said. very smart. It's like smart how it keeps some things simple and some things complex. Mm -hmm. like, there's a lot you can you can dig into in the psychology going on with the interactions between everyone here. But it, yeah, it's a very great film. And no matter how many times they try to remake this movie, I don't think they'll ever be able to do it like that again. I don't see what would be the point. Like, even with CG, you can't make the experience feel any more visceral than that. No, and I've seen you know, I've seen a lot of possession movies. They just don't measure up. Right. At all. Right. So. They're good, but they don't measure up. The uh, The only other one is a movie that we'll watch next year, fam. This guy hasn't seen it, so we'll see it. But it's got a pretty hardcore oppression and possession thing there going on, The Conjuring. Mm -hmm. So that one that one tries, but still, The Exorcist is what it is. Yeah, so. it's a classic for a reason. De definitely. Fam, if you want to watch it, it's on Max right now. My opinion, <laughs> the perfect Halloween movie. The perfect way to end Halloween on the scariest note possible. They say it even starts in the fall with Trick or Treater, so it, it, it qualifies. Absolutely. Unless it's called Halloween. <laughs> for sure. That might actually be the most perfect one, but... Right. <laughs> but fam, I think that's where we're going to call it quits. As always, if you're brand new to the channel, I hope you'll consider subscribing and help us grow. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and hit the bells to receive notifications every time we drop another one. And should you feel compelled to give us a piece of your mind, do so in the comments, guys. While you're at it, take a look at us on our socials. We're on Instagram and TikTok. Check us out over there, see what we're up to, guys. But until next time, this is Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Happy Halloween to you guys. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, y'all.